It's the shape of something here that's breathtakingly impressive. If I weren't a rational man, I'd say there was devilry at work in this house. <laughs> like a kind of madness has taken over and there are no rules anymore. No! Helen Davis and Caroline Quentin. I just thought maybe I could be useful here tonight, that's all. Why, as a contraceptive? Are joined by Rick Mayle. I could smell guilt on a man like dung on a donkey. In a Jonathan Creek special for Christmas Eve, 9.30 on BBC One. <laughs> Keanu Reeves. There is a bomb on this bus. Oh. If we slow down, it'll blow. Dennis Hopper. You try to take any passengers off the bus, I will detonate it. Sandra Bullock. There's a turn. I can't make that turn. <laughs> Join the adrenaline rush that is speed. Our Tuesday night movie, 9.30, BBC One. Quite a tale on BBC One tonight. The story of the woman who dressed as a man and became Pope for two years. Every man in 15 minutes. The news now on BBC One with Michael Burke. Iraq says there were thousands of casualties in the four nights of Allied airstrikes. Saddam Hussein's told his people they've won a victory over the enemies of God. The RAF's tornadoes are on standby. Tony Blair says they'll attack again if Iraq continues to defy the UN. And Richard Branson narrowly misses Iraq and is on course to float around the world. Good evening. Iraq has claimed that the Allied airstrikes killed and wounded thousands of its people. But Saddam Hussein, in his first public statement since the bombings, said God had awarded Iraq with the crown of victory. Here, Tony Blair said the attacks had achieved their objective. Saddam Hussein had been put firmly back in his cage. From Baghdad, where reporters' movements are controlled by the Iraqi government, Jeremy Bowen reports. 